Deputy President. Thank you very much, uh, <coughs> Honorable Chairperson. On the 16th of August this year, the Minister of Police appeared before the Portfolio Committee on Police to brief members of the committee on this matter. Let me reiterate what he said before the Portfolio Committee, and I want to quote him. He said the following, the convoy of the Deputy President normally has seven cars, six from the SAPS, and one from the South African National Defense Force, which in most cases is a medical car. The deputy president was in the convoy, but not on the crime scene where two of his cars pulled off to deal with that matter. This is how he answered it. Now, I want to confirm that, uh, Honorable Chairperson, that indeed it is true that I was not there uh, because the cars that carry the president and the deputy president don't stop for anything. I'm sure members know that. Yeah. Uh, we don't even stop in a red robot. Uh, so it would have been very strange if my car had stopped there and I'm busy watching <laughs> what is happening. It would have been very strange. Uh, so when I became aware of this incident, I was actually home already because the car doesn't stop. So you don't see what's happening. Uh, but perhaps uh, uh, just to... To be fair, uh, Honorable Chairperson, is that this matter is now in court uh, and it may be very difficult to engage on it. It's, it's sub judicare. You know, when people appear in court uh, and we are busy saying things, uh, it's, it's a problem. Uh, but members can be assured that uh, I was not there on the scene. I think that's really what we want to clarify. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. President, first supplementary question will come from Honorable Mikalakis. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. Honorable Deputy President, seven cars filled with little stormtroopers to keep you safe. I wanted to ask you, what are you so afraid of? Yes, um, uh, hi. Chair, in terms of uh, Rule 64 uh, of the NCOP rules, matters pending before the courts, no delegate may reflect on the merits of any matter on which a judicial decision is pending. No, oh, yes. Um, Thank you, Honourable Chairperson. Yeah. Honourable Chairperson, I, I, I hope I hope as Honourable yeah. Kai is, 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 is said, uh, we're going to look carefully at the the boundaries and so on, uh, but allow you to speak. Thank you very much, Honourable Chairperson. The key word in that rule is merit, and it would serve the member well to first listen to my question before he jumps to any conclusions. Uh, may I just repeat my? Uh, initial phrase, seven cars filled with little stormtroopers to protect you, Deputy President. My question initially would have been, what are you so afraid of? And then I remembered that the people out there are hungry. They are left in the dark. They are jobless. And they're not stupid. They know that you have been governing this country for the last 30 years. So then I yes, remembered uh, you have every reason to be afraid of the public. Uh, Honourable Mikalakis. Get to my question. Honourable Mikalakis. Yes, sir. And, and 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 this really has been a, a, a problem for for a while, and we don't want to give this house a bad name, and to give the, the impression uh, that the suppression and we can't 
speak as they want, can be forthright, and so on and, and so forth. But really, there is a problem about uh, using uh, the time alloc allocated for posing questions uh, to make speeches. Uh, so I'm going to, to really appeal to members. I'll come back to this issue later on, but I'm, I'm just saying, please, please, let's avoid that kind of a, of a route. But before we pro proceed, but before we proceed, before we proceed, please, uh, let's, let's hear Honorable Nyambi. On what point are raising Honorable Nyambi? Thanks, Chair. I think you have been very generous and you have handled the issue properly, Chairperson. And uh, the DP was generous to just clarify exactly as the rule read by Honorable High. We are honorable members and we've got nothing to lose. The issue is in court. The DP is not going anywhere. Any other day, once the court has pronounced, we'll have ample time to do justice to the question. But what we're trying to achieve now, it will be a sad day when as honorable members and arm of state as a legislature, we're trying to undermine our very same rules because rule 64, if we are reading it carefully and not selective, will understand. But after the generous comment that has been made by the DP, my humble plea chair is that let's agree that it is against rule 64 to deal with the matter that is still in court and we don't have a final verdict of the matter. Chair. Chair. Chair, yeah. as a point of order, please. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, Chair. On what point arise? Mm -hmm. On point arise on the point of freedom of speech, and then also on the point of the fact that there are rules. First of all, just, just repeat that again. Yeah, I couldn't hear what you're saying. I'm rising on the point of the freedom of speech, the rule that writes the freedom yeah. of speech. I want to start off by first. If Honorable Michalakis could not ask this question, then the question office should have not put this on the paper to start off. So could you, as the chair, bring the administration of this house then into order? Because it's the third question in this term or in this year. It's the third time that we have the same problem. So sort this out, please. Then secondly, there is no rule in this book that says what you can say and not say in the two minutes allowed to ask a question. It's also a practice now that when the ANC stand up, they can say anything, they can rule anything, and none of the presiding officers, the one that's closest to that, is Honorable Nayambi trying to solve that. And today, you're not too bad, Chair, but with all due respect, the ANC can say what they want, they can protect themselves, and when the DA or any other party in this house stands up and do things, you make a rule or the presiding officers in the chair makes rules that are not in this rule book. So this is, this is, this is undermining the democ democracy in this house. And the presiding officers are responsible for that. Honorable members, there's always a danger that uh, we stray onto debating a matter, even before the matter itself is is is. is is put on the on, on, on the table. Um, I'm going to allow Honorable Mikalakis to briefly put forward the question. Thank you, Chairperson. My question will also not relate to the incident itself. My question relates to the Deputy President and where he was. So I will not touch on the merits of the case. 
Now, Deputy President, you indicated that uh, you were at home when you became aware of the incident. It's interesting how your version changed from what it initially was to be in line with what the Deputy President said, uh, with what the Minister of Police said. But are you then saying when you found out about the incident you were at home, that at no time during your journey was the incident communicated on the radio frequency in your car, because you would have heard that, and what did you do then when you became aware of this incident to ensure that action is taken? Thank you very much. Deputy President, those, matter, those matters are being raised in court. Yes. No. The, the same matters are being raised in court. I think the member is, the member is not listening. Honorable Chair, why, honorable why members, do you want the order, please? Order, order, honorable members. Let's hear what the honorable deputy chair? president has to say. Yes. And I'm, it hears I'm, the response. I'm saying, honorable chair, he wanted to know where I am. I said I was home. Now he goes back to the scene. When the car was there, the radio, these are the matters that are in court. That, that's that's the reason. That's why. That's why as a second, listen. That's why as the second paragraph in my response, I said yes. I was at home first time I heard. But because this matter is now in court, let's not go into it. Because okay. those are the same questions that are being asked in court. 